a lot of times in uh, Harpara, uh, you're going to be using that to check out the highlights and uh, see what your kids are doing. Um, you probably, for most kids, that works great. You can use it to message kids. You can close them out of sites they shouldn't be on. But for some kids, it probably turns into a little bit of a game of whack-a-mole uh, where you X them out. They'll wait a little while. They'll go back in. You'll X them out again. Um, so kind of, you're kind of chasing your tail. Um, so for those small group of kids that need it, a focus session is super helpful. That only allows them to get into their one web, the websites they need for the day. Uh, some teachers are hesitant to do this because it's kind of time consuming. Uh, but if you use groups, I'll show you how to set up a group because uh, it's annoying to do this to every kid. Some kids don't need this help. And for them, it's super annoying because they can't go check their email or they can't go read a book or they can't go do something else that they want to do when they're done with their work or it will help them with their work. Um, and so you don't want to focus browse all those kids. Um, and the other thing is it kind of takes a while to set up the websites, um, but you probably have a few days in class that you do pretty regularly. You probably like have maybe an Ed Puzzle day where you need Canvas and Ed Puzzle. Um, and you probably have a um, maybe a quiz day where there's just certain websites that you need. Um, so uh, you can use set up templates for those to make this all a little bit faster. So the first thing you want to do is set up your groups. Uh, so you're going to go on your dashboard page and you're going to go to groups and you're going to make a new group. I'm going to call this one focus. I'm going to add some students. Add my students. Um, uh, you can even pick a color for your group. And when you're ready, you're going to head back and you'll have a focus group. Um, that's going to be super easy for you to grab. Next up, you're going to want to set up your um, session. So you're going to go over to this highlight tab that you're probably familiar with. Or if you're not, highlights is where you can see what your kids are doing at that moment. Um, so here's where if you can see um, on browser tabs kind of what they're doing, and you can exit, exit out of them. It takes a minute to, to set up. Uh, next up, you're going to do guide browsing. There's two different kinds of guide browsing. A filter session, this blocks them from websites. This isn't that, or this works good if you would like to block your kids from getting to YouTube for the day, or if you want your kids to not be able to get to Hangouts to chat with each other. Um, you can put in those URLs and filter them out. You could also make templates for that. What I really like, uh, unfortunately, the filter session doesn't work great for games because if you block a kid's, they find a game they like, and you block that website. Uh, typically, game maker people will find that game um, and they'll host it a whole bunch of places because they kind of steal the games from each other and post them and put ads on them to try to make money. So if you kick the kids out of a game, uh, they're going to find it posted somewhere else. Uh, the focus session, like I said, open, closes all their sites and opens something up for them. Uh, if you have a template set up, you would be able to click here and see it. I don't have any yet. Uh, but you can enter up to 10 links. So like, I'm gonna want my kids to be in Hapara, or not Hapara, uh, Canvas. So I'm gonna go, and you actually wanna take that whole URL with this whole HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash, and I'm just gonna hit space. Uh, maybe I also want my kids to go to, here's a Zello page. Maybe they're uh, in an ACP class and they need to be able to get to Zello. I'm just gonna come back here. I'm going to paste that. I'm going to hit space. It's green. It's good to go. You can put up to 10 sites in there. Um, usually the whole site is where I want them to go so I can visit any page in Zello or any page in Canvas. Only the page would be like if you have them going to take a Google form and the only thing you want to be able to see is a Google form or the only thing you want to be able to see is that exact um, Canvas page, not going to any other Canvas pages. That would be the only pages. Uh, the timing is very important. Don't get, put them on for any longer than you need them in that focus session. This is going to control their Chromebook at school, in other classrooms, in your classroom, at lunch, if they're at home. Anywhere they have, anywhere they have their ASD Chromebook, this is going to take them over until you release them or the time is up. Uh, keep all tabs open will not allow them to exit out anything. So right now they'd be stuck in Canvas and Zello and they wouldn't be able to get out of them. And this one, will uh, it takes all their sites and um, minimizes them and if you leave this on it brings them their old sites back up at the end so that's a nice thing to do you can schedule this out later um, so if you wanted this to start tomorrow I don't recommend doing this for subs because subs are not uh, part of your Hapara class and so it can cause a lot of problems uh, the other thing that you can do because uh, they can't like kids get stuck and stuff and they can't get to places where they need to be um, the next thing you can do is save it as a template so if you use Zello all the time let's say this is a Zello day I'm just going to name this Zello, and I'm going to hit save. 
Um, I could hit start session, but like I said, that would take over all these. You can see in the background here, there's kids um, working, and that would take over their stuff. So I'm not going to do that. Um, so I am going to cancel this. Um, the last thing I'm going to show is now if I go to guide browsing, I can choose a template. I could go to Zello. I could review the focus session. It's going to my, uh, I could select, actually, I forgot to show you this last time. You could select your focus group. <laughs> You could update the template, um, but now you're just going to go to, um, after you have this template good, you just select that template, push start session, and you're off and running. So groups and templates will make things go faster for you. If you have any questions about Havara, please let your building technology coach know.